We could hardly wait to get our mitts on the bumper edition of the RT Guide and Radio Times. Out of our wits with excitement for all things you'll try. Festive film favourites, It's a Wonderful Life, A Christmas Carol, and Miracle on 34th Street. So look forward to now we have the Pike TV and a decent reception. A huge treat from all the previous years of Twist and Rabbit's ears. Christmas is we will most remember. Counting down from the 1st of December to the 12th day before, almost in tears watching our dad step from the landing bouncer into the attic to get the decorations. This marked the real beginning. The tree, the tree lights, coloured paper chains, the accordions we call them, and the fake porcelain nativity scene. I'm betting too many or so you'd heard a come boy. And what a joy in our parlour, decorating the tree with lights and balls and tinsel. And then the big soy, placing the last thing of all, the old star fairy. And how that parlour room, glowing fairy light bright, sparkled with such a magical ambience. We'd sit in there all evening playing our older brother's LPs. A pure delight, which we've tried to recapture on many occasions ever since. On Christmas Eve, me dad and Tob and Polly, our partner and Mick, would go down the road to get the drink in, return them with a trolley load from the supermarket. Ha, but not one single food item. That was Ma's department dosage. On top of the list, the fresh ham and turkey from Doyle's. And then to powers for all the other messages. To please himself and the gang of us. Just our usual old toil. But there was never a face in her. Now does she ever get fed up? She let us help with the pudding, adding the dried mixed fruit and spices and tablespoons of golden syrup. And of course, the all-important Guinness stout. And there was always a little bit left over in the bottle. And she'd let me finish off the drains. Can my overconsumption nowadays be whittled down? so small a sub of the plane. All complete with the turkey basted, silver foiled and in the oven on low below, and the ham and pudding slowly on the boil above. Great, great days, but sadly no more letters up the chimney for us two, or setting out milk and biscuits for the jolly, white-bearded man of love. But the memory of us delirious as we were forced upstairs to bed, and hurrying on the morrow to discover what we'd got, will always have me wishing it was still reindeer hooves we were imagining overhead, and not the loss of innocence, and we discovered it was not. They sold me a dream of Christmas They sold me a sire night They told me a fairy story Till I believed in the Israelite And I believed in Father Christmas And I looked to the sky with excited eyes Then I woke with a yawn in the first light of dawn I saw him and flew his disguise Christmas, they said there'd be peace on earth. 